Erica, good morning to you. Want to start with what I know new at 8 o'clock. East Hartford investigators telling me they have found a number of pieces of evidence tied to the scene here, including a number of cell phones and bullet casings. Of course, authorities saying they responded to this scene in the overnight hours around 3 a.m. About a thousand people, they say, in this parking lot where they suspect one shooter opened fire on three different individuals. We know three people taken to the hospital with injuries early this morning. The good news in all of this, authorities telling us those injuries were non-life threatening. So that is the good news. But as far as that suspect goes, East Hartford Police not ready to release a description of that individual. They are still awaiting more information from witnesses who may have been here at the scene. Uh, but again, huge crowds out here. Right now, you can see Cleanup crews just started to arrive, but I spoke with a minister just a couple of minutes ago who says he is by here every single morning uh, to pray in a nearby park, and he described what this spot looked like when he first came across it. It looked like a tornado came through here. This is unbelievable. So much beer bottles, alcohol. It's unbelievable. You know, it's okay to come by the park and sit down and have a little drink, you know, and socialize, but... This is this is a mess, you know. Then they got to pay to have it clean up everything. This this is unbelievable. A mess indeed. And he told me that some individuals have already made one sweep of this parking lot, collecting a lot of the uh, beer cans and alcohol bottles to return them for that refund. So one sweep of this parking lot already underway as we take a look at the cleanup unfolding. I want to mention we did get an email this morning from a viewer Jeff Van Fleet asking about the police presence at this property in the overnight hours. It is something that I asked about. So for Jeff and folks at home, I did ask East Hartford Police about that. They say by the time they got word of this situation uh, and were able to get to this scene that the crowd had grown substantially with an estimated 1,000 people in the parking lot. They said they determined it wasn't wise to try to break it up at that point, given all that we have seen across the country. And instead, they were hoping that things would kind of just fizzle out before that violence erupted. Uh, East Hartford police telling us that on a general shift, they would have had eight officers covering this city and two supervisors. This is not a residential neighborhood at all, uh, so perhaps not getting as much attention as other parts of this community. Also want to point out this happened in the American Eagle parking lot here. I did attempt to reach that company this morning to get their take on what happened here and to get information as to whether or not they might have security cameras here or any kind of 24-hour patrol that might lead to some additional information. Have not reached them yet, but as I do, I will bring that information to you. Again, the search for a suspect underway as they still try to get a description of that individual. And we know three people taken to the hospital with injuries, none of them life-threatening. One of those individuals already has been released.